This is your 06 Scion TC water pump. 06, I wanted to show you since you're not here and you can't see it. This is your old one. Somebody tried texting me. This is your old one. I'm gonna turn everything off so that you can see. So this is your old one. I want you to look at the the pulley. If you look down there, you can see how close that is. And I'm going to turn it around. Turn it this way. It's really close. You can see on this side, there's actually nothing. It's kind of at an angle. And then over here, you can see in there where the bearing is getting pushed out. Turning this around, and it's the bottom parts where you're looking at. What happened is the bearing got shot out. It didn't rupture the seal yet, and it pulled the shaft inwards compared to what you would see on this one. Look how far out that one is. Just to give you a glance of what it is inside the water pump. This one's a lot more straighter. And then you can see down here on the bottom, it was leaking. See that? There's your teardrop hole, what we were talking about, or what you read on the internet. That's your teardrop hole on the bottom for the freeze plug, and that's your one on the top. But it wasn't the top one that was leaking. It was that one. And you can see how it pulls up at the bottom. It'll just drip right off. Uh, I'll show you what it took to get it out. I thought I was going to have to front, pull the front grill out in the core support, but I didn't have to. What I did was I took off all the motor mount and the motor mount bracket that holds the block and the alternator. It has to all come out first. So what I did was I disconnected the motor mount. You got two holes down there. Uh, one right there. That's three. Uh, all the ones on the block are 14 millimeter. But before you take the one that goes on the block right here off, uh, you got to take the water pump pulley because this last bolt down here is behind the pulley. So get that off. The pulley first, then get this last one off. Then this whole bracket comes out, gives you plenty of room to pull that alternator out. I disconnect the VVC solenoid because I didn't want it to break. Those are very delicate and very expensive. So we got the old one out. This is what the bracket looks like. That's the bolt that you have to take off last because it's behind the pulley. And also we're able to get the thermostat housing off. And I found out you can't jack it up too high because that hose is just exactly the length that it has to be to get reattached on there. And you can see the thermostat right there. Uh, we know that the spring gets inwards on the block. So that's how I had to disassemble it. So first, uh, this motor mount, undo it. Once you get the battery out, then you can get the... Oh, and there's also a 14 that goes underneath. You can see where it's underneath this bracket. So you got two up top right there. And then this one's underneath. So you got to get that from the bottom of the car. I had to use a 14 millimeter and a 12 inch extension. Crack that loose. There's my doggy over there. Okay, that's about all that we need to show. The belts look pretty good, you said they were replaced. So I did find the leak, and uh, it was the water pump, and the water pump shot. So now that we got the new one on, or when we get the new one on, you won't hear that funky noise anymore. Alright, this is for a, what's this, 2006 model year, Scion BX, 1.5 liter, water pump removal and installation. Just do backwards of what I told you and we'll be good. Alrighty. Hope this helps somebody.